Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Tars Principle 2. <laughs> I've been running around here for a bit and I noticed this. There's some blue back there and I think that that has to mean something. It does. Okay, there's a drill. Um, right, so we need to just get this open. That should be doable. That should be doable. <laughs> Indeed. Alright, so now we can drill that hole and then see what's what in there. Why was a while I was running around? Why can't I investigate that again? It only shows up once. That's weird. I feel like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I never really went back to another artifact. After finding it? I don't know. I thought he couldn't interact with them again. And then as I was running around looking for things. <laughs> looking for this thing specifically. <laughs> um... I noticed that I could interact with the car again because I wasn't sure which. Because there are so many of these like weird little back paths that don't go anywhere. It's such a big place. This place is crazy. Right, and now we're just going. I think down that way, right? It should be on the map somewhere. Or on the on the HUD, but I don't actually see it. Could I use this to like shortcut through some levers too? I feel like I could maybe. Maybe not. That's probably they, they probably thought about that, but because you could like laser outside and then have this on the wall outside and then open something or activate something inside. There might be something. There might be something there. There might not be. I don't know. I don't remember. Also, wait, is the... No, blue is not set up anymore. Need to set that up again. Uh, where's the connector in here? Uh, isn't there a connector in here? Here. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. And then just get... This. Don't remember how we did that though. We're here? No. Oh, through. Through here? No, I don't remember. Which window did I use? Because this doesn't connect here, does it? There we go. That should be fine. Excellent. It is not the voice of God that a prophet seeks in the desert. But the silence of man. Mm -hmm. Very wise words, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's go home. Well, home. Let's go to the next place. And activate that last tower, and then... I don't know. I mean, we then have to go back and do all the things we missed. <laughs> and all those golden gate puzzles. That we, that we can't do yet. That's fine. That is fine. And then I don't know what the end game in this is gonna look like. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you get like a resolution, like an end, and then we go back into those like puzzles, or is that like before? 
Because those feel like they might be optional. But they might also be part of the main story still, I don't know. And both could be true too, I guess. It could just be like an extension to the story. Or it could just be like puzzles and then not much plot anymore. I have no idea how these are gonna work. Anyway, goodbye. Creepy statues, and we're going to the high plane. Yeah, sure. Westbury. We got the stars. Don't have the stars here though, so I didn't pick up one of them. <laughs> do I want to do that now? Actually, let's do that now. Because I wanna, if you then get back to the starting area, then I can put all the stars in. Assuming that's all of them, I might get more from the gate puzzles actually, I don't know how that works. I don't know how that works. <laughs> it will be fine. Jump down here? I thought I could. I thought I could. Anyway, it's fine. Is it you or is it the other one? It's the other one. Just that oh, it's blinking. It's not far though. In times of war, is it wisdom or folly to give a sword to a child? Probably still folly, but you know. Depends. High plane, there we go. We're getting closer. I hope Byron is still okay. Hope so too. Prometheus seemed to think so. Let's hope he's trustworthy. Why wouldn't he be? So what's the high plane gonna look like? How high are we talking? Very nice. Who's this? Cry out. Another I... remarkable structure. But what can its purpose be? Actually, I can um. answer this one. In the files 1K downloaded, okay. there's a design for a launch pad for space vehicles. This is about 90% identical. Is it functional? I don't think so. Not if the inside is like the other towers. Maybe it is though. Maybe we're just gonna launch into space from here. And then the true game is gonna begin <laughs> with me settling space. You know, it could be, it could be. Level one start here. From within. Okay, what are we doing? We have some fans here. We have a jam. This is where we need to go. We need blue on. So if I do this, those fans turn on and I can't go back there. So what I need to do is this. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. In their notes, Athena and Cornelius called what they were doing the Noema Project. Mm -hmm. But in 1K's vision, they just called it the machine. 
Because when you strip away all the fancy rhetoric, that's all it is. It's not a source of meaning or purpose. It's just another machine. I don't, what's your point? Like, if I strip away all the fancy rhetoric, you're just a machine. Like, what's your point? I don't know. Is the tree making a sound? Maybe. Level two right here, sure. Chicken fried? Okay. Who's the chicken? Is it me? Right, I see. What does this do? Turns on this. And then we can like bounce back and forth here and then where am I going? In here. So I need something on this pressure plate. Uh wait, I don't have a I don't know what I'm doing here. Because <laughs> if I do this and then place it here. This is not gonna fry. Because it can't. But I have to hold it for it to go back and forth. Or it would have to be on the hexahedron, which I don't see. I don't see one, no. So we need something that opens and then closes this. By turning on this, I imagine. I could go in here and then I could do this. And then I can walk over here. Okay. So mean it doesn't let me jump over these. <laughs> What's new? Is there even a future? Simiambia? Looks like a lot of people are getting excited about how things are going to change, but all I can see is another repetition of the same mistakes. Ecocide, hubris, self-destruction. Why would anything be different this time? <laughs> Maybe it won't be, but so what? Life goes on. You're right, I'm beginning to feel we're taking the wrong path after all. We just need to get it right once and the cycle will be broken. All we can do is give it our best shot. You have to hope, even if it's not rational. No, we just need to get it right once. I guess we can at least try. Byron once told me that hope is something you only find once you start acting instead of only contemplating. Maybe if you just make a start, you'll feel better. Maybe. It would make sense. We just keep going to three here? I don't know, maybe. I should check the statues early so I know what I'm up against. There's one up, up there. We'll go down here first and then, and then we'll go up this way. Yes. Because this is level 3. Yeah, that's fine. Precision. I'm always very precise. Oh, 
how is this a pot? <laughs> is truly breathtaking but is it a human scale or is it so enormous that it can only alienate us humans have always been happiest in small communities says who town paranoia isolationism and peasant mentality <laughs> great for burning witches not so great for personal freedom ever the pessimist <laughs> says who the guy who's like, oh, this is too big, this is alienating us, we can't be happy if we're not living in a small community. That's like the optimist point of view or whatever. Come on now. Where does the statue go? I swear it moved. It was like right here. Anyway, let's look at this memory. What's this? I can't say your feet, so I don't know who that is. In the simulation, I found myself thinking how hard it must have been for Alexandra to die without knowing if her sacrifices were worth it. It seemed like a tragic end to an inspiring, meaningful life. But now I realize her whole life must have been a struggle. To maintain that faith in humanity when so many people around her insisted that humans are evil, worthless, when they were so lost in self-hatred that they would call their own species a virus. How did she do it? How did she maintain her faith when they were so determined to hate themselves? So determined to reject every solution, every analysis, every step towards controlling the forces that were causing their problems when they rejected even the concept of progress itself and then patted themselves on the back for it as if that was original. When I look at the archives now, all I can see is that their leaders were short-sighted idiots and their intellectuals were unimaginative cowards. All they could offer people was a downward trend. Fewer rights, fewer freedoms, fewer resources for anything that mattered. They must have hated Alexandra and everything she stood for. So how? How did she have so much faith? Probably didn't have a choice. Just had to, had to have a faith. Like, what's, what's the alternative, you know? Okay, what am I doing here? Like I can like do it here. Well, no, we need open actually. We need to go through through where. I can't really go through here because this would have to be open already, which I can't do. Wait, how is this supposed to be? It has to go through this window. But how do I break the blue connection? something behind to intercept blue or something, but I can't actually do that. Oh no, we just need to take blue over here. And then, okay. And then just do blue, blue, blue. And then switch on the other side. Hey, 
Monkey. I wanted to take a moment to talk to you. Sure. I know we're all worried about Byron, mm -hmm. especially Al. Yes. And I don't want to minimize what happened. But now that the mayor's here, I'm afraid they're going to take this and turn it into a reason to bury their head in the sand. Yes, Byron was rash. He wanted to find Athena so badly that it made him blind. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, he was right. He was completely and utterly right about what this technology could mean to us. Yes. I didn't see it at first, but now it couldn't be more clear to me. The theory of everything is the future. And if we reject it, we're condemning ourselves to a slow death. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, maybe, I mean, I don't know. If they want to bury their heads in the sand, maybe we could, like, you know, help them out and bury not just their heads <laughs> in the sand and then, you know, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I agree. I'm glad. You know, I didn't even realize how much I'd limited my own imagination. How I talked myself into just accepting this incredibly poor future we've been offered. A future where things just keep getting slightly worse every day. And we accept it because... Because we're ashamed of ourselves. How very human. Not of something we've done, but just... Of our existence. Like we're a virus on this planet. Like our humanity is a sin. I'm so tired of it, Wong K. I kept my head down. I focused on fixing things. But that's all I ever did. I never improved anything. I never built anything new. And when I imagine going on like this for thousands of years, that's a fate worse than death. It really is. Either we accept, like you said, that it's our cosmic duty to spread consciousness, and we do it boldly and proudly, or we might as well switch ourselves off. We'll find a way. We better, because I don't think I can handle the alternative. We'll get Byron out. That's step one. Don't know what step two is. Void in a new mayor, maybe. Don't know who's gonna be mayor, but it's fine. Do we try this now? Sure. No idea where it's gonna go though. Cause I don't even know the, the rough direction of the statue. we see around here. Keep an eye out for things. It's kind of hard though. Don't make me run up on things. I don't know the terrain yet. Where are we going? I haven't even done this lever yet. What does this turn on? Oh, you suck. <laughs> you didn't have to do that to me. Oh, it's just here. God. Okay. I need to go even higher. Well, we might as well solve this now. <laughs> okay, this is not something we can do. So we need to do it from up top, I suppose.
Nope, needs to be all the way up actually. But I can't like turn this on. Can I? No, I can't. Okay. If I need an empty hand for that somehow, but I don't. But that's not even enough. Interesting. Is this what I'm supposed to do? I don't think it is. It is always something I can do. <laughs> this doesn't seem right. surprised that the founder chose you, 1K. You're very much like her. Inquisitive, intelligent, and dedicated. But remember, intelligence for? by itself has little value unless it is ethically applied. I don't know that I agree with that. I feel like ethics alone have very little value if you're an idiot. Anyway. What was the platform thing before? Was it supposed to hold it up? Maybe. Going. I still don't see the statue. <laughs> Why are you always doing these little turnaround things? It's very annoying. Just go <laughs> straight. who dwell in night but does a human form display to those who dwell in realms of day is that like a sounds like it might be um man for his name <laughs> my brain i'm not it's just um What's his name? <laughs> it's Blake. Yeah, it's Blake. God be here and God is light. It has that. I don't know, it just sounds like Blake. Arteries of Innocence, yes. Okay. I don't know how it sounds like Blake, but it sounds like Blake, I don't know. Can't explain it. It just is. Who's this? Lithros here, sure. In my reports to you, I have often spoken about this island in terms that some might perceive as negative. Mm -hmm. I hope you understand that the opposite is true. Here in these green hills, I see tremendous potential for transformation and spiritual awakening. I do not see the world as you do, Athena, but I see the rot at the heart of New Jerusalem. If 
you and Cornelius want to go through with your plan, then this is the perfect place. My students and I will help you transport the remaining tech from New Alexandria. After that, once you and Cornelius are settled, we will leave for our great journey. I can only hope that we all find what we are looking for. I hope so too. Are the generators working? Yep, all good. Those Mark IIs are real workhorses. Wow, did you finish the setup? Yes. Sorry I couldn't wait. It was so much fun to just do something again without having to endlessly discuss it first. I know what you mean. We have a lot of work ahead of us, though. We do, but honestly, Cornelius, I haven't felt this excited in years. Just imagine, one day they'll come here and we'll be able to show them a whole new world. A different future right at their fingertips. You do think we can do it, right? I think, and forgive me if this sounds sentimental, as long as we're together, we can do anything. Shmilev, Solithrus here and his students helped Athena and Cornelius execute their plan, another fascinating discovery courtesy of 1K. Many of the events in our city's history that seem disconnected turn out to be part of a bigger pattern. There's something to be learned from that. Neve, this does answer some questions I had, like how Athena and Cornelius transported all that equipment from New Alexandria to the islands. Elvin, disturbing, but good to know. I don't know how, how is it disturbing. Budahas, Lithar's here was so cool. Half the time I have no idea what he's talking about in his recordings, but it's all just so interesting and weird. Good work, 1K. Should we maybe send an expedition to go looking for Lithar's and his disciples? I'm afraid it would simply not be in keeping with our energy expenditure projections to mount such a massive undertaking. But we have new tech! This could be a DLC. <laughs> Depending on how like this ends, I could totally see a DLC where you go and look for Lithosir. I don't know how the puzzle solving aspect of it would like play into the you know finding finding out what happened to him, but like I'd I'd like to know what happened to him. Anyway, also yeah, I got two um, two Steam achievements: one for collecting all the Lithra seekers and one one for collecting all the memory fragments. So we did we did that. Didn't miss any of them. Let's do a triangle. Alternator, sure. How do I alternate these though? Oh, this. But how do I do it so that it does both of these? Because they hit each other here. Now they're like both on the same. Yeah, it's not good. That's not gonna work. It has to be in front of this. I like this. 
very neat. There's a good pause for this now. That was well observed, 1K. Thank you. I do agree. I don't always. <laughs> the theory of everything. Stilton. I've been around for a long time. If I'd been born a bit earlier, I'd be a first companion. Well, I mean, that's true for everyone. I mean, the bit, the length of the bit maybe varies, but sure. So I've seen the ups and downs of the city, although in recent years I've kept to myself. Now I'd like to pose a question. I don't have an answer in mind, I'd just really like to hear what everyone thinks. I've no doubt that the Athena's theory of everything would change our lives, but do you think that perhaps we're better off not knowing? That perhaps having all the answers would just make the universe boring? Molduck. The ancient writers showed that knowledge can lead to cynicism. We must maintain this, the sense of wonder of a child. Shmilev. The theory of everything wouldn't be the end of our journey. It would only be the next step. It would equip us to ask the next set of questions, to explore new possibilities, and to discover and create new wonders. Belmarsh. To believe that the universe can be understood or described in objective terms is pure scientism. Nothing exists. Even if something exists, nothing can really be known about it. And even if something can somehow be known about it, information about it can't be communicated. And even if it could be communicated, it would not be understood. I don't know. A tar? The truth can be harsh. It's possible that the theory of everything would reveal facts that we'd find hard to deal with. But that doesn't mean we should not confront those facts and their own ethical responsibilities. I agree with Shmilev. Thank you for your thoughtful comments. And by the way, 1K, thank you for all the hard work you've been you've done for New Jerusalem. Solving all those puzzles is quite a gargantuan endeavor. It's not that bad. Really, if there was like, <laughs> it's just like one thing, one complaint. I might have about this game is that maybe the difficulty of the puzzle skews a tad easy for my liking. But I'm also not sure how difficult the first game was. Because, like, it's been too long to, like, remember how much I did or did not struggle with puzzles in that. And then also, I might just be better at solving these types of puzzles because I've been doing it for years in various different games and micro maps and stuff. So maybe, maybe that plays into it too. Maybe I've just played sort of too many puzzles like this <laughs> over the years. Possible. Also, maybe those like gate puzzles are really hard. So yeah, we'll reserve judgment until we know for sure. Can't get up there. Um, I haven't found the lab yet. Should look for that. So I should look for an artifact, I guess. Should look for the other statue, and who knows? Something else, I'm sure. But I don't know what. <laughs> oh, so what's the next puzzle? Actually, five, I think, right? Because we did six ahead of time. This is where we came in. Where even is everything else? Five is that way, sure. Should 
Sure. Maybe I've not been on this side of the tower, actually. I don't know now. That looks very similar. It's kind of hard to keep track of which side I'm on. Yeah. So this is... This is four or five establishing, okay. Here. I could look at the HUD, I don't like the HUD. <laughs> Alright, level five. Rerouting. So maybe that, and maybe well, it can't be this because it would do this. all the way out here. Still not all that helpful for because I still wouldn't be able to really do this. Like I can do this, but not in a meaningful way. Because I have to also do this, and that's always just gonna break. Unless it's actually not breaking this. Now. Which is weird, but true. Don't know how that works exactly, but it works. I need one more. <laughs> I need you to hit this. That's not possible, is it? <laughs> no, I would need you inside there. How would that go? I would need this one to be all the way back here. Can I just do that early? Maybe. So if I go and do this again. Oh, but I can't, I can't hit you from here, can I? I need to hit you through here. But that's not far enough back to hit this. Okay, this one's trickier. Somehow. <laughs> I don't really know why, but it is. Because now I can do this again. But how do I do this? It would have to come through here. This is already not a good setup. I would need to move you here to hit this now. Right, so I just need to have this set up there already. Okay, no, this is fine. This 
just need you to also do this. And I need you to do this. And I need you to do this. Nice. Have you found any signs of Cornelius? Could he have returned to the island? Nothing so far. But he knows this place better than any of us, and we have no idea what he's up to. Statues. But a lever. Hexahedral stacking, sure. Sure. So blue and blue. There we go. Already stacked. What else do we need? I need this to open, which means I need to close this, which means I need to intercept this signal somehow by doing just this. <laughs> that was so easy. Very easy, actually, yeah. Usually the triangle levers were more, you know, difficult, but like this one <laughs> was like easier than that, like that level five one in my mind, anyway. Um, all right. Maybe I can't jump this. I mean, I, I would put something back here. Something sneaky. Like a car. <laughs> or... I don't know. Something. How do you not put something back here? Like, I'm, I'm amazed. Like, if I were, like, lever designing, I, there's no way I don't put anything back behind this tree here. It's, like, the perfect spot. That's like, I guess, my other, my other complaint. <laughs> there are so many great spots to put like some Easter egg kind of thing. Or even like one of the collectible artifacts or something. And then there's just, there's just nothing there. There's just nothing there. It's such a shame. <laughs> anyway, so where's the second statue? Where's the lab? And uh, I guess there are those two remaining levers as well. Those are easy enough to find. We just need to find one of the signpost thingies and then uh, go that way. Seven and eight are this way. Where's the lab? Oh, this is a puzzle. It's not. 
I thought it was gonna be one of those pillow puzzles again, but it's, apparently it's not. Looks neat though. this way are you sure gateway switch okay m more switching so we have a channel in here we can't pick it up right now because it would like close the door behind me <laughs> though we can open this though okay so we actually do want to do that because it's pre-connected here and then what I can do this and then climb out and then and I do red Yes. Right. That makes sense. Can I can move. What? That doesn't open this gate? Oh, I thought it would. But this is red too. And it does open the gate, but then the jam I can move the jam out of yeah, that's not that's not smart. I can move the connector out, I guess. And then this jam I can close and then we can take this out. Okay. That's what we want. That's the order. Okay, that's that's a good start. And we have blue, red, blue. And then something we need to jam for sure. So we could do blue and get these two. And we could be in here. I mean, I could champ this and be here, but not like I need to champ this last one. So how do we do this? So we now need to switch it to turn to red. So we'd have to connect this to like red as well. And then once we jam this open, it's not actually gonna turn red though. What if we take blue for the door too? Can we take both for the door somehow? Yeah, it's like this. Oh, I left my jammer inside though. Ah, wrong click. <laughs> okay, whatever. So we jam here, and then do this too. No, but how's this, how would this work? What if we only take blue for the gates? red here. That just wouldn't do anything here. And if this was here, or like here, like this. There's no way like I can jam this, but it wouldn't turn red because it would still have both connections. So how, would we, how would we switch that off? I'm not sure. It feels like we need to take both through the gates, but like that doesn't work. 
Like this both would come through the gates. And then we could do like blue, jammed. And then would open here. But I would have to, I would also have to do this. So I could do this and walk in and then I can But then I can't close blue, because this is always going to be on. No, like this it's all. Right. But we'll have to connect here to... I think. Now so I need to do this quickly. Get you out. Jam this open. Put you like... No, not here. Like here. And there we go. Okay, it wasn't easy, it wasn't easy. It wasn't that Congratulations. hard. Congratulations! That one looked difficult. Yeah, it was kinda. Not incredibly so, but yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a gimme like some of the other ones. Um So eight is that way. Where's that statue? I don't know. Straight this way, sure. Should end the episode, I think. We did like a weird order here, because like we got all the puzzles basically, which is not usually how we do things. <laughs> but we didn't find the labs, we didn't have a lot of hex to translate, and there weren't really many terminals either. I don't know, we're missing at least the travel one though, I do want to find that for sure. But oh, this is eight. Sure. Photon sale. Okay, so red would open this, which would let us fry over there, which would give us this hexahedron, which you could swap into a different hexahedron. <laughs> I don't know if I care about that, but let's see. Doesn't let me pick it up over there. Okay, that's, that's fair. That is fair. And then this would let us go up here. Is there anything up there though? Can we detach the fan here? We can. So we could have this and this. And we could fall through here. I don't know how we. Wow, wait, how does that work though? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> How does that work? I don't know how that works. It's kind of confusing, honestly. Like, how do I get the cube out? I would need to bring something in and switch it out for the other cube. And then put the cube down and I could put a cube over the top and then I could swap back then. But what do I bring in? Because I, I can't take this fan, I can't take this fan because I need to get in there. So I'd have to bring the connector, but how do I get the connector in here to launch myself? over there with it.
And I need to put the cubes here so I can jump on them. Because they don't fall through, because they can't go through the those item blocker gate thingies. But how do I... <laughs> how do I get something in there to swap? So what do I, I guess I can put the fan there then. That makes some sense. But I can't bring the connector anywhere. And I can't swap over top of this, right? No. If I had the hexahedron, I think I could. But I can't bring the hexahedron out. I can't bring the fan in? What do I bring in? missing an item. I think that's what I'm supposed to do, though. That feels like a kitschy kind of thing, yeah, because I can't really jump over this. That's not what I'm supposed to do. Okay, it doesn't let me jump over this anyway, so I can't get out then. Okay. So how do I bring something in here? There's no other item. There's not, like, another fan or... Whatever, like just one more thing lying around, right? There's nothing up there, I can't take this. And obviously I can't take this from inside. There's no channel, there's no other way to open this. And I can't just like walk over top of this, right? <laughs> Be crazy. No, maybe the hexahedron, but I don't have one. That's the whole point. The whole issue here. So detaching the, the fan does what? Nothing. Or barely anything, anyway. How is this supposed to go? I think that's like the last step, but it, maybe it's also somehow the first step. But how would it be? missing a thing I can do here. But I don't know what it is. Seems like a bad idea actually. I can't stand on top of the fan. Come on, that's mean. At least I can pick it up again, sure. I need one more thing. I need, I need another thing. How do I get another thing? And it's not, this time it's not me standing on a pressure plate doing something, because I can't... I can't send anything in, because I can't get a hexahedron out. What's this little card? Photon sail.
<laughs> I don't get it. I'm missing a thing. See, I said they weren't hard, and now this is somehow incredibly hard. Even though there's like, if, like the thing is, I don't know what to do. Like, there's no step. I feel like there's nothing I can do. So I must be forgetting something about like the mechanics or something. There must be a thing I can do that changes the setup. But I feel like I can't. I can take the fan and I can go in and swap. So that's like not the. That's not it. And bringing like the it doesn't make a difference right we can bring this up there but like why would we like once we're here what do we do with that we connect this here and then it doesn't change anything that's not helping There's no other way to open this gate, because there are no other things in this lever that let me do that. <laughs> what? What am I missing? Wait, did the hexahedron not start inside? Did I just send it in by turning this on? Maybe. How do I restart? I don't know how to restart the lever. No, no, it starts in here, right? It didn't, it didn't send it in. No, this is reset. Cause that's the only thing I could think of, is like if that starts... But no, it's already on, like the fan is always on. I wouldn't be able to stop it from frying in even if it starts on the launch pad thingy there. Oh, I can take this over the fence. That's what I can do. Yeah. <laughs> yes, okay. And then what? I don't know, but like that's something we can do. <laughs> but I can't take both? No, I can't. Okay. I can have both of them out here. And I can swamp over the fence too. I can have like this and this and get another item. So that's the thing I forgot that I can reach over top of that. Because it never feels like I should be able to do that, but I am. I don't know. I could have put that in a better spot maybe, but okay. Not sure if that's far enough. We'll see, I guess. It is. Puzzle fiend. Solve all regular puzzles. Nice. We did it. We did it. All right, let's get out of here. Long episode again. <laughs> Just because I forgot I can reach over the fences. I think I've forgotten that, like... I don't know, several different times throughout this, throughout this game. Let's look at the height. So there's a question mark far that way, and one this way. That's not as far. Maybe we can look at that quickly. Just to see what it is, if it's a statue or if it's the lab.
All right, we'll do that next time, though. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you next time. We'll tackle the remaining palm reader and whatever the other question mark is far that way. We'll light, we'll re enter the tower, we light the last beam. Who knows what happens then, but um, I'm excited to find out. I hope you are too, and I'll see you, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.